90% of the paintings I've started, I have not finished them. <laughs> Here is the painting I want to work on tonight. It's supposed to be grass and then like a blanket down here with like beautiful donuts on it and some of the donuts had flowers on it. <laughs> I had a reference picture on my computer but I definitely deleted it by accident. <laughs> okay, let's set up my little art corner. <laughs> Painting has been my passion for as long as I can remember, <laughs> but earlier this year, I wanted something more of it than to simply create it. I wanted to share my art and growing love for photography and clothing with a wider audience and connect with people on a deeper level. I stumbled upon the world of content creation in January 2023 and learned about various platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok where creators share their work and engage with their audience. Obviously, I knew all of these platforms before I stumbled upon the concept of content creation, but I never considered I could be more than a simple viewer. It was like a whole new universe opened up before my eyes. The idea of combining my artistic skills with digital media seemed both exciting and challenging. I realized that transitioning from being a beginner painter to a content creator requires acquiring new skills and knowledge. I knew I had to learn about video editing, uh, storytelling, and social media marketing. I'm pretty uncoordinated physically and mentally, so it was intimidating at first, but I was determined to embrace the learning curve. I started by creating my own YouTube channel, Instagram, and TikTok account dedicated to showcasing my artwork, photography, and sharing my creative process. I wanted to document my journey and inspire others who might be going through a similar transition. It was important for me to be authentic and genuine in my content. As I dove deeper into content creation, I was faced with the various challenges along the way. Building an audience takes time and consistent effort. This was the hardest stage for me because I would see such little results from my hard work. There were moments of self-doubt, but I remained myself, <laughs> I reminded myself, sorry, that every great artist started somewhere. Through frustration and dedication, my content started gaining traction. My videos received positive feedback on TikTok and I started to build a loyal community of followers, which was the push I needed honestly to become fully dedicated to my Instagram and YouTube. The feeling of connecting with people through my hobbies was incredibly fulfilling and I'm beyond grateful for this new chapter in my creative journey. Transitioning from being a viewer to becoming a content creator is such a bold step, honestly, that requires adaptability, uh, continuous learning, and perseverance. I, I know it sounds dramatic, but it's completely true. <laughs> My short little story serves as an inspiration for those seeking to explore new avenues for their creativity. And this is only the beginning for me, literally. <laughs> I literally am beginning. Although I did start this in January, I took a big hiatus, big break because of how hard the unmotivation hit me. But. Here I am again, trying again, and I think that's the most important part to remember. Like, it's okay to take a pause and then return. I'm still trying to recover and gather myself throughout this, but I am ready to be fully dedicated to this platform. <laughs> I promise. If you're considering transitioning from one creative field to another, like, don't be afraid to take the leap, honestly. I read a quote that said, the time will pass anyway. Would you rather pass the time trying this or pass the time just giving up? The time will pass anyway. Might as well, honestly. Embrace the challenges, learn new skills, and stay true to your artistic vision. 
you never know where this journey might lead you and i think that's the most motivating part because i'm at the bottom and there's only up from here <laughs> i wrote like a whole little script for this youtube video and it was little indeed because i have over a minute left of this video and i did not make a script long enough for this but while I got you guys here, just a mini life update. I am now recording videos extremely in advance. I'm talking like weeks in advance. And it may be obvious if you're on my TikTok or Instagram that that stuff will <laughs> be posted sooner than the YouTube videos. But I hope you guys love them anyway. And welcome. I mean, not welcome. Gosh, just thank you for being <laughs> uncoordinated mentally and physically and that is me but yep we are in this process together and i just thank everyone for being here with me this is just the beginning